We're going to make our step four in maths today, which will be about percentages, and we will look at the meaning of percentages and carry on calculations involving percentages today. So the word percentages is very familiar to us, as it is used regularly in media to describe anything from change in the interest rate, the number of the people taking holidays to abroad, to the success rate of the latest medical procedures or exam results. So indeed, the percentages are a useful way of making comparison apart from being used to calculate the many taxes. So that we pay such as VAT, as you see, VAT, income tax, domestic fuel tax, or insurance tax, and so on. So percentages are really very much part of our lives. So, but what does percentage actually mean? So when we, before we start the lesson, please get ready for writing. Remember, writing is our best learning. So you need your, you need your pink highlighter, blue pen, and some other colors, colorful pen to identify the clear details to succeed more. So let, let us in, explore the term, the percentages now. Percent. Percent means out of hundreds, out of, out of hundred, out of hundred. In mathematical language means divide by, divide by. So, so for example, let me give you an example. An example, so if you score 85%, if you score 85% on a test, then if, if there were a possible 100 marks altogether, 100 marks altogether, you would achieve 85 marks then, because 85% can be written as 85 out of 100. So let us look at some other common percentage amounts and their fraction and decimal equivalents. So for example, common ones, 75%. 75%. It can be written in the fraction form as a 75 out of 100, which is 3 quarter or 0 0.75 in decimal format. Another one. 50%. 50% can be written as 50 out of 100. And it is one half indeed and 0 0.5 as a decimal. Or 25%, which is 25 out of 100, which is one quarter and 0 0.25 in decimals. 10%. We can write 10% as 10 out of 100, which is 1 tenth and 0 0.1 in decimals. So 5% can be written as 5 out of 100, which is 1 twentieth and 0 0.05 in decimal numbers. So it is worth noting that 50% can be found, can be dividing by 2, and then 10% is easily found by dividing by 10. So if you have your 100%, you can divide it by 2, and you, get, you can get your 50%. Or you can divide it by 4, you can, you can get by your 25%, or you can even divide by 10 to get your... 10%. So, another example. Another example. If we can, if you do, for example, 18 out of 20. First, you need to write the information as a fraction. You gained 18 out of 20 marks, let's say. And then, so the fraction will be 18 out of 20, as you see here. Since the percentage requires a denominator of 100, we can turn 18 out of 20 
into a fraction form by multiplying both numerator and denominators by 5, both of them. So we can write 18 times 5, 90, and 20 times 5, 100. As you see, the denominator is 100 now. So now which is 90%. So the key point percentage means out of 100. And then, which means divide by 100. So to change a fraction to a percentage, you need to divide the numerator by the denominator and multiply by 100. So, say as a second step, let concentrate on let let us concentrate on the finding percentage amounts. For many calculations, we need to find a certain percentage of a quantity. So, for example, it is common in some countries to leave a tip of 10%. Yes? So, of the cost, say a meal, let's say a meal cost 25.40 pounds. This is the cost of a meal. And then, as mentioned, an easy way to find 10% is simply to divide by 10. However, the written method shown, by, shown in this video is useful for more complicated calculations, such as the commission of a salesman of he, if he receives 2% or 5% or 25% and so on. But let us calculate first of all the 10% of these. So 10% of 25 pound 40 is indeed 10 out of 100 yes and of means multiplication times 25.40 so when you type this in your calculator you will get exactly 2 pound 54 as we dividing by 10 you can straight away get a £2.54p. Another example, let's say a salesman, a salesman getting 2% commission, 2% commission of his sales. So in one month he secures 250000 250, Yes, and for worth of the orders, how much commission does he receive? So, how much commission? So, you will do 2 out of 100 and then you multiply it by the number itself 250,000, which is when you put these numbers in your calculator, you will get. 5,000. Yes? So many things that we buy have VAT added to the price. So let us explore a bit more about the VAT now. So, to calculate the purchase price, we have to pay, we need to find. So VAT in general is about 17.5%. And it is added onto the price. This can be done in two ways. For example, the cost of the computer. Let, let me give you an example. So if the cost of the computer is £634 and plus VAT amount, so we need to find the total cost. We are asked total cost. So you know. VAT is 17.5%. So first step up is to, cal is to calculate 17.5%. So you can do 17.5 out of 100 and then you can multiply it by the value itself which is 634. Once you put this in your calculator you will get 110.95 pounds. So the total cost, 
do total cost will come to the 634 plus 110.95, which is 744.95 pounds. As you see, my total cost increased when I added the VAT. So, or instead of thinking in that way, you can think in another way. So, let's say the total cost is 100%. Let's say instead of thinking of the total cost as 100%, the price plus 17.5%, 17.5%, we can think together 117.5%. So, we can straight away calculate the 117.5% of 630 four pound indeed we can write this as a 700.5 out of 100 and time 634 and you will get exactly same amount 74495 pound you will get so as you see you can work either this way you can first find 17.5% and then you can get your, you can add to your total cost. Or you can do, you, you can think the total cost as the 100% plus VAT, which will be the 717.5%. And you can calculate 717.5% of the initial cost 634 and then you will get straight away the same answer. So this practical way is to practice our percentages and finding the percentages of the amounts that has integrated our lives. So this is the part one of my percentage video. So please carry on with the part two to complete the percentage course in this video. Thank you for watching part one.